In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch between different view controllers in your top bar application. So for example, what if you need to switch uh, programmatically from a uh, first view controller to the second view controller? We can uh, easily switch manually, but uh, sometimes our business logic requires that user is taken from first to then second or to the third or to another view controller in your top bar application. So let's uh, do an example where we need to switch from first to a second. And for that, I will stop this application. I will go, let's uh, minimize, let's resize our top um, um, bar controller to four inch to have some more space. Uh, so uh, let's put a button to our first view controller uh, here. And we will change its title to something like next. Okay, so when a user taps on this button, we want to take them to a next um, view controller, which is a second one. So one of the ways is we can uh, open uh, app assistant editor. So I'll select first view controller and open assistant editor. And I will create an action for this button. So I'll select it, hold control button, click, drag and drop it here. And from connection, I'll choose action and we'll give it a name uh, next button. Okay, so when next button is tapped, uh, next button tap function will be called. Okay, and for us uh, to uh, switch between different view controllers, first of all, we need to access our top bar controller. And the way you access top bar controller is simply start typing top um, bar, and then you will see uh, Xcode will auto suggest you top bar controller. Then uh, you want to uh, look for a selected index and uh, assign it an index. Now, all views, first, second, and third view controller in your top bar are under a specific index. And the very first index is zero. It's like uh, with arrays. The first element in your NS array is, has index zero, and the second element in your NS array has index one. Same thing with the um, uh, view controllers, uh, inside of your top bar. The first view controller has index zero and the second view controller will have an index one. So if we want to take user to our second view controller, we simply say um, selected index equal one equals one. And, and this is it. So now if I uh, run this application and tap on a next button, I should um, be um, taken to the second view controller by a top bar view controller. So here we go. This is our first view. I tap on uh, next and I'm taken to the second view. Um, very good. It, it, it all works. Okay. So our next example will be uh, what if we need, uh, what if we have another view controller, which is outside of our uh, top bar controller and we need to navigate there. Let's say for, for example, our third view controller needs to take us to another view controller, which is outside of top bar. So let's uh, stop this application, zoom out and create a new view controller, which is outside of the top bar. So I'll look for view controller here and it will be uh, below. And let me, um, let me embed it into navigate uh, editor embed into navigation controller. We will need a navigation bar here. And I will resize it to four inch. Here we go. So we have a view controller with the title uh, fourth. And let's say we have a button here, um, bar button item, it will be here. And that button will be something like a logout. Logout button. Okay. So now um, we want user to navigate from our third view controller here to a view controller which is outside of top bar. So for that, I will go to a third view controller and I'll put a button on it. And I will also give it the title next. Now, when user taps on next button, 
we want to take them to a fourth view controller. And one of the ways uh, to do it is just the same as we did in the first view controller. We created an action outlet for this button, or we can simply create a segue, or we can select this button, hold control button, click, drag, and drop it here, and choose, for example, action segue show. Um, now, when we uh, tap on uh, next button, our third view controller should take us to the uh, fourth view controller. So let's um, run this example and see how it works. Okay, so um, let's go to the third uh, view controller. We have next button here. And if I tap on it, I'm taken to the fourth view controller and I have uh, a logout button here. Now notice that the fourth view controller is presented modally on top of our third view controller. But what if we want a push behavior? What if we want um, the fourth view controller to be pushed and uh, have a back button here on uh, our navigation uh, bar? So I will uh, stop this uh, application and I will, for example, delete this segue, delete this view controller. So we have um, uh, we have, I mean, delete navigation control. We have a fourth view controller. I'll resize it to four inch. And uh, I will zoom out, go to my third view controller, and I will embed it into navigator, uh, into navigation controller. Embed into navigation controller. Now I have a next, uh, I, I mean, I have third view, and I have a fourth view controller, which is outside of my uh, top bar. Now I'll do it the same way. I'll select the button, hold a uh, control a button on my keyboard, click, drag, and drop it here. And again, from the action segue, I will select show. And here we go. Uh, we have a segue created and we have um, a next button linking to our fourth view controller. So let me run this example to see if it works. Okay, so if I go to a third view controller and I tap on the next button, I have fourth view controller pushed and I have a nice uh, back button uh, which will take me to the next view controller. So we have a third, I mean first, second, we have our next button working which takes us from first to the second and we have um, a third view control controller linking to the fourth view controller and back forth.